What's going on, everybody? So today I have a little bit of speculation, but also uh, something that might be a translation error. Not sure, uh, but I think it's kind of fun to go over this because, well, we're really looking forward to the next update here coming on, well, it looks like to be January around 19th uh, due to the previous patch. I mean, if we look here um, into the battle pass and we see seven days, 14 hours left of this battle pass, which means that we probably will be getting an update around that time which will be pretty cool. But uh, more importantly than that, guys, the reason why I mentioned all that is because I'm looking forward to this, this next update for a multitude of reasons, right? I already went over a lot of the different things that could potentially come to the game, like Blood Knight, like um, randomly the new Legendary Essence Transfer System, a uh, new PvP game mode, who knows, right? We don't know if it's gonna be a minor or major update. It's probably gonna be a minor update, most likely they haven't announced anything else about that um but you know we'll have to see so why do i say all that well because i was actually browsing reddit the other day as i do every couple of days every day or so um, just to see if there's any hot topics for the reddit community whether or not some of the, of the community is feeling are really taken advantage of due to blizzard which i mean let's be honest guys it's like all the time <laughs> or um anything else uh, like some sort of bug happened or something like that just to keep you guys all informed. And today we found, or I found a post claiming exclusive legendary items. Now, I will say there's a high chance this is just a translation mishap, but if you go to Hell 8, so you can see here, um, if we click on all these, it says, drops equipment for levels one to 60, unlocks two set items, two Paragon specializations, you know, Storm Point unlocked, L4 to 5 can play together, or 1 to 4 can play together, drops Paragon Equipment, unlocks two specializations, unlocks three specializations, new Heliquary bosses, um, unlocks Heliquary bosses, and drops Paragon Equipment 480. Check this out. When we hit Hell 8, exclusive legendary equipment. Again, if we look at every other pair or every other Hell difficulty, it doesn't say legendary equipment. It always says equipment Paragon level. So even if this was a translation error and it just says including legendary equipment usually it doesn't specify legendary equipment so even if the exclusive part is some sort of mishap i'm very curious to see what this is now there's some people that are already farming hell eight some people have that 11,310 combat rating most of those people you have to be you know 5k plus residents to have the legendary gem uh, combat rating on top of farming a lot so you have to be a grinder and you have to be someone who spent otherwise you're probably not going to get access to hell eight most people aren't even on hell uh, hell seven some people are on hell six and hell five still that's kind of where the average player base is therefore hell eight is going to be those top top end players both spending and grinding and so we've seen some legendary equipment to come out of there however we haven't really seen anything um in relation to paragon 600 come out yet because we're not even close to paragon 600 so when it says including exclusive legendary equipment this may not be in the game already it may be a prelude to something coming to the game when we get closer to paragon 600 you can see here um i believe the server paragon is 450 right now yeah i was grinding out last night i've been trying to catch up with the server paragon level i should be up to the server paragon level uh to tomorrow today or tomorrow um because i've been slowly doing it you know i've been getting like six levels a day and it goes up by two or whatever because i was hopelessly behind due to christmas and all that stuff um and uh well puppy and all and all sorts of video stuff but regardless guys um we're approaching paragon level 600 in a long time right we're talking about 110 levels as of recording this video which is minimum like two months right that's minimum actually getting to that level um, well, I shouldn't say minimum because there's some people who are on usually around uh, 11 to 12 levels above Server Paragon is kind of like the, the soft cap. There are some people that are like 13 levels, some people are like 14 levels. Those people are mega grinders, right? Um, I know when I used to play like 8 to 9 to 10 hours a day, my soft cap was about 11 levels per uh, above Server Paragon. That was kind of what I was able to do um, pretty consistently. Otherwise, I would have to really, really have to uh, like grind out like Realm of Damnation and like actively grind it out. Uh, so that was pretty tough. But 11 levels above server paragon is accurate so we're talking about okay if if server paragon's you know 450 let's say you're 460 right now uh well you still need um 140 levels right um which is uh absolutely crazy did i say 110 levels the other i meant 140 levels 
I bound on the math, 140 levels, assuming you're 10 levels above server paragon right now, which means that again, it's minimum two months away plus some, right? We're gonna need, we're gonna need 70 levels on top of that. And assuming you're, uh, or 70 days on top of that, assuming you're hitting two levels per day from the server paragon level, um, which means that that's two months, 10 days. That is a long time in the future. There's a lot of updates in between that time. So the fact that it says exclusive legendary equipment could be referring to the legendary essence transfer system, which I've been heavily pushing and have been really wanting in the game. You guys may have seen this because it's my most exciting update that I've been looking forward to. Now, what is this update, might you ask? Well, it is going to be an update, presumably, right? This is a data mine that we're talking about, but most of the data mines that uh, are out there either have come to the game and are true or have been speculated heavily upon, right? So any update that has been data mined um, in, or that's in the game right now has already been data mined and we went over it for the most part. Any update that hasn't been into the game that has been data mined is presumably going to be in the game due to how accurate every other data mine has been so far. Therefore, what is the system? Well, it's going to be a system that whenever you have a legendary item, let's say this one, Lion's Resonance Wisdom. When you drop this, the first time you drop it, you extract it, right? And you get it into your bar. The second time you get it, it's just a salvage piece. What this system would do is that you drop extra pieces of these within your your hell difficulty it has to be within your hell difficulty if it's not then it won't actually give you any bonuses and you extract it a further time to get bonuses towards this system towards this ability right for example this could up to 8000 damage to all enemies over 3 seconds for example if you get tiered upgrades now some people interpret this as instead of being this system a upgrade to your legendary attributes but that doesn't make much sense in terms of when it addresses legendary essences essence attributes it's talking about the essence itself because this is not a legendary essence attribute this is just an attribute towards a legendary piece of gear which is why i interpret it the other way and if this is coming to the game including the exclusive legendary equipment that's kind of where i get this idea this could be a massive change for everyone and could be very very fun and this is why i say this is something that you might want to look out for because Again, even if it's just exclusive legendary equipment, well, exclusive is the key word that we're looking at. And even if it's not including exclusive, like this, let's say this is a translation error and this meant something else and it's just legendary equipment. There's the only, this is the only difficulty that actually specifies legendary equipment. None of the other ones specify that. It just says equipment or other things that it unlocks. So it seems very strange that Hell 8 of itself is the only one that actually accesses or includes legendary equipment. Like, why does it specify that? All things drop legendary equipment. So maybe it's a translation error. That's possible. Keep in mind, this is pure speculation with coupled with some data mining, um, right? So I don't know 100%, but I imagine that this is reflective of some future update. That is my guess. That's what I'm going to go with. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'd be really excited to see something like that pop into the game. I know some people are worried about RNG, and yes, there's going to be massive RNG related to it, but eventually it'll all even out and everyone will get exactly what they want and it'll upgrade. It'll be a nice progression system for everyone in the game. I think it'd be really, really fun. Personally, that's my opinion. I know some people disagree and that's totally fine. Um, by the way, guys, before I end the video, I actually adjusted the lighting again. So let me know how it looks. Um, I feel like I kind of got it down perfectly. <laughs> um, it looks way clearer. The lighting, um, I'm looking over at my second screen here, um, but the lighting looks way better. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. So let me know what you think in the comments down below about that. For those of you that did drop comments, I really appreciate it because I'm always trying to get better quality, whether that's audio, whether that's visual, whether that's um, editing, everything. I'm just trying to get better and better at it because, well, I hope to be with you guys for a long time, including you know the next bunches of months for Diablo Immortal. And then as soon as we transition over to Diablo 4, maybe intersprinkle some Diablo 4 content uh, when that comes out. I'm not sure uh, what I'll be doing with Diablo 4 in terms of making it 100%, no more Diablo Immortal. We'll see. I, I enjoy Diablo Immortal, so I don't I don't think that will be the case. Um, but, you know, you never know. Who knows? Maybe it'll take a bunch of my time and I won't have any more time. But regardless, guys, check this out. Uh, I, I'm very curious about Hell 8. If you guys are farming Hell 8, let me know if you've noticed anything different about your legendary items. Again, I've seen some people talk about it and they have said that they haven't really seen anything different. And uh, I'm have no reason not to believe them but uh you know maybe they just put that in there in preparation for paragon 1600 because we can't even equip those items yet anyways so it wouldn't really make sense um or it wouldn't necessarily be out of reach to add something in between now and getting us paragon 600 so 
I'll be reading your comments because I'm very curious about this. This one is more of a discussion topic. Again, if you guys enjoy this type of video, if you guys enjoy talking about the game, let me know by liking this video, sub to the channel, and I'll see you all.